former President Donald Trump's social media platform, Truth, Truth Central, continues its slow demise as its stock prices continue to tank to record lows. According to financial magazine Barron's, which you would think Donald Trump would like because he's obsessed with the, uh, the name Barron, uh, Trump Media, the publicly traded company, majority owned by Donald Trump, saw the prices hit $21.42 a share Tuesday as the DNC had been gaining momentum in Chicago. Uh, now, of course, on Wednesday, it slightly rallied back up to $24, but that is a, a far cry from where it debuted. For sure. Uh, now, Barron's says this foretells Donald Trump's election chances. Oh, interesting. Uh, they said the stock tends to trade based on the perceived chances of a second Trump administration. Oh, boy. Wall Street analysts are seemingly staying clear from the company and no analysts are covering the stock because it's a meme. It's a meme. And that's really it. It's a joke. Uh, not only that, but everybody who actually is a real investor understands that this is a very clear pump and dump okay trump media has lost 63 percent of its value since it merged with shell company and went public on march 26th according to the baron's analysis of dow jones market data tuesday marked the eighth day in a row that trump media stock had fallen according to the report based on the assumption that the djt stock is a proxy bet on who will win the presidential campaign if kamala harris beats trump on november 5th that could send the stock crashing, Barron's reports. Conversely, if Trump wins the second term in office, shares are likely to spike. So, yeah, this is basically, like I said, it's a meme, it's a joke. It's not actually it, at, at all, you know, referencing. The price is not referencing the company's actual value. Because if it did, the stock price and the valuations would be much, much lower to the floor. Uh, because... It's doing badly, okay? Now, here's the thing, though. Um, next month, Trump will be able to start selling shares. When that happens, if it's still around, like, $20, and he dumps that stock, that's still a lot of money. So he's going to get a financial windfall, right? If the stock price doesn't crater by then. Um, so we'll see what happens, right? Because... And ultimately, that's what he's hoping for. This is, again, pump and dump, right? So as soon as he's able to legally, I think he will dump a majority of his stock because he knows that there's no way this is going to be profitable at all. Uh, look, the Barron's report suggests that True Social has failed to meet the former president's hope with its low user count and low revenue. Uh, Trump Media reported revenue of only $837,000 in the second quarter of 2024. Well, the uh, losses are, are around $16 million. So that's really bad. That is an absolute and utter financial disaster. And the analysts, uh, the analysis concludes the stump, uh, Trump media stock will could keep falling. So we could see it under $20, possibly. And, and it all, I think, it is, is tied to Trump's falling polling numbers, too. In fact, even if Trump wins, Barron concludes, there's little, if anything, that looks likely to be a catalyst driving shares higher again. So the, and that's the other thing, right? So will it spike if Donald Trump wins the election? Yeah. Are, are we going to see prices back up to like $60 a share? No, nobody serious is going to buy in because the long-term health of the company right now looks really bad. No smart investor is going to invest in something that has that much debt, that many losses, and so little revenue. And look, social media companies generally don't do well in the first three years anyway. Uh, and some barely break even. I mean, before uh, Elon Musk bought it, Twitter had finally started getting into the black. Now, well, as X, it's also doing quite bad. Uh, now, that said... Right. Trump has further, you know, basically, uh, I mean, he shaded his own company he threw shade at his own company by getting back on Twitter itself. And so once again, the, the whole reason to go to true social because he was kicked off Twitter is no longer applicable because Elon Musk has not only invited Donald Trump back, 
but also interviewed him on X. Uh, and so the, the whole reason for his existence, gone, gone. Uh, now, that doesn't mean Twitter's doing very well either. Uh, in fact, when Musk acquired the company back in October of 2022 for $44 billion, yes, he borrowed $13 billion from several banks, including Morgan Stanley, Barclays, and Bank of America. Uh, these banks have found themselves unable to offload Musk's debt to other investors, leaving it stuck in their balance sheets or hung in industry terms, straining their loan books, and in one case, even curbing their compensation. Uh, now, far free, uh, you know, be it for me to uh, feel sorry for the banks, but still, oh no, <laughs> getting stuck with Elon Musk debt. Sad day for you. <laughs> in fact, Musk's uh, loans for X have been on the books for so long, they've actually outlived every unsold deal since the 2008 financial crisis, according to data from PitchBook LCD. Not only is X the longest lasting hung deal since 2008, it's also reportedly one of the biggest. To which I say, hmm. Whoopsie. Yeah, not a very good investment. <laughs> now, for the banks, that said, look, it's not all bad for them, right? They get to collect the interest on the debt, of course, right? But for Musk, it doesn't actually look like he'll be able to pay off the principal of those loans anytime soon with, you know, X tearing off all their advertisers and having revenue issues. Okay. In fact, last year, X reported that its value had plummeted by more than half to around $19 billion, which I don't think it was worth that much anyway. He massively overpaid for this company. Um, on a, I think it was on like a dare or whatever, because he was trying to troll them or something. Uh, and, uh, you know, the board was like, oh, no, 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 you're, you're, you're going to buy it. <laughs> you're going to pay this massively overinflated price because you're stupid enough to do it. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> and so he's since then, he's alienated the uh, advertisers who don't want their content next to neo-Nazis, which is kind of the same problem that True Social has. Uh, the advertisers really don't want, you know, reputable ones at least, don't want their content, uh, their advertisements next to, you know, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and just generally unpleasant people on True Social. You know, it's 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 almost like uh, right wing billionaires actually kind of suck ass at running social media companies. I know, right? That is unless, of course, uh, by running it, you mean straight into the ground. Because at that, they're doing fantastic. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down and become a member on our youtube page you become a subscriber on facebook or you can go to my patreon patreon.com slash jeff waldor thank you